testimony reveals the defendant in the Lake Erie, Lake Erie homicide case may have had a plan to kill his wife for more than a decade. Jackie Roberts was in the courtroom. She joins us now with much more about day three in the Christopher LeClaire murder trial. Jackie. Sean, neither the defense nor the prosecution are denying the fact that Christopher LeClaire was living a double life. Now we're getting a better idea at just how involved that double life was and how it played a role into the tragic events that took place last summer. What could have been a typical day on Lake Erie for Christopher LeClaire and his wife took a dark and devastating turn. Now 49-year-old Christopher LeClaire is on trial for criminal homicide after 51-year-old Karen LeClaire's body was found tied to an anchor with a gunshot wound to the head. But the third day of prosecution testimony tells us the circumstances leading to her death began long before that boat ride last June. Two different witnesses say LeClaire told them of his plan to dump his wife into the lake and make sure no one could find her. One of those statements allegedly dating back to 2004, the other to 2011. The woman at the center of LeClaire's double life also taking the stand, the defendant's girlfriend, Tracy Butler. She says for years she was led to believe Karen LeClaire was living in Florida or with a friend. Butler says the defendant told her they had almost no relationship, even adding that his wife was dying from cancer, which we now know was not true. Text messages reveal Butler and LeClaire said they were in love, the two even trying to have a baby. Butler admitting she gave the defendant an ultimatum, commit to her that summer or it would be over. The prosecution says LeClaire shot his wife because he thought that was his way out. The defense claiming Karen LeClaire knew of the affair and as a result took her own life that day on the boat. A different medical expert also testified this morning claiming that the bullet wound was more consistent with a suicide than it would be a homicide. Sean. And Jackie Roberts reporting tonight. Thank you, Jackie. After a